All right, what is up, y'all? Uh, another episode of the game. Fine. Uh, so we are doing a base tour today. Uh, kind of a tribe update overhaul of like how we're doing as a tribe and what the base looks like. Uh, so Kev is here to do the intro. If you guys are new here, uh, we don't beg for subs on this channel. Uh, we compete for them in a game of chance. Kev is going to pick a number one or two, and you are going to pick a number one or two. And if Kev guesses your number, you have to subscribe. If you're already subscribed, you got to like, comment, join the Discord, do something you haven't done to support the channel. Because uh, I'm trying to get to 5k subs by the end of the summer, if that is at all possible. Uh, that would be so amazing. Uh, and let's get right into it. Uh, Kev is going to pick two. Uh, if Kev guesses your number, make sure you subscribe, like, comment, join the Discord. The Discord is getting big, active, uh, doing a whole lot of announcements there. Discord hears everything first. So, uh, yeah, let's get right into the video. Alright, y'all. Uh, we're doing a base tour today. Uh, it's a, it's the same base we've had from close to the start of the series. Uh, same rat hole that Curtis lived in. Uh, I think he lives in it now again on his series. Uh, we have made pretty big progress. It's, it looks pretty different from what it did uh, on the inside, uh, since you guys last seen. Uh, so let's go take a look at, yeah, yeah. Let's take a dive down in, take a look, all the spam. Uh, our spam got cleared a little bit here, so it's not exactly as as clean as the rest of the spam placement is. Uh, but it was all painted. Uh, we got our little, our little outside boxes. Try and prevent. Uh, got our little TP box. Uh, yeah, so we can bring a skiff here. Uh, outside tower. Tuso's out here as well, uh, but yeah, so that's what the outside's looking like. We're gonna spam it out a little more, make a definitely make it a little harder to fob. Uh, the inside looking pretty damn similar to day one, uh, except all the turrets are capped. So uh, that is looking that is looking good. Got tons of backup jennies around, making it you know really really hard to get into. It's about as strong as we can get it. Uh, we got the boys living in the box here. Boys aren't going nowhere. They're chilling. Phineas is doing good. Kev's doing good. So yeah, it's our little, it's our little front box. Moving on to the main base. So this is the part that's gonna look a little different. Well, we also have a uh, spam up here and turrets out there, just to you know try and prevent scouting. So this is what's gonna look a little different. We got our carbos down in there. Uh, so if I remember correctly from our last base tour, it was like a month ago, so it's it looks a little different. We expanded the chem benches. Somehow one of them got broken. Somebody must have flamethrowered or something inside. Um, this used to be all our storage was just a bunch of vaults down here because we bred up there. But uh, we've kind of condensed our space down a little bit because we can. Uh, so these are all just dump vaults that we can spawn in. From when we were PvPing, we can just spawn in, drop the stuff in the dump vault, and, you know go right back to PvPing or doing whatever. Uh, we got our little expanded chem bench area here. It's pretty quick for crafting gunpowder. Uh, got a bunch of crafted, but trying to make more ARB and all that. Uh, we got our forges. Uh, it's pretty it's pretty slow going with only three forges, but we can't really afford to make more or to, to waste more space on forges. Uh, but we do, we're consistently cooking, you know, that is a metal at a time. Uh, we got our little our little war room over here. We're gonna add some more deadies to this too, because we need to get more stuff in here like narc nades and all that. But we're filling this out as we can. Sleeping pods back there. A couple of randomly placed vaults. We're probably gonna get rid of those. Uh, crafting station back here. Just one replicator. We can't really make room for more than that. But you know we're doing good in terms of resources. Uh, the event helps a lot. The events that we get every weekend. Uh, so yeah, let's go up to the next floor. This is the pretty substantial change. So we were doing breeding up here last time you guys saw. Uh, that is not the case anymore. We uh, have changed this shit into like Walmart 
tile because we we don't have the space to do like a like a classic U-shaped war room. So we're doing this. But we got you know vaults of flak. Uh, it's looking good. It's like f anywhere between a thousand and fifteen hundred dera. I'll show you the BPs in a little bit. We got uh, some some uh, most of our flak is pretty okay. It's like at least eighteen eight hundred and plus. But yeah, we got plenty of flak. Uh, we're kind of short on weapons, but <clears throat> we don't. Foot PvP doesn't really have them very much anymore, so not a big deal. But uh, we got, you know, the works. We got what we need. <clears throat> Moving over, we got structures of all. Still working on filling out some more tech structures. We are on Genesis, so it's not that hard. Uh, it's really uh, most of the, what our issue comes down to is just you know as fast as we can cook the metal, pretty much. Uh, but we got plenty of turrets. It's not massive. The, the base isn't looking massively thick, but you know it's doing good. We got our personal vaults. Nothing massive in there. Uh, so yeah, that's our little. This is our war room. It's like a war floor because you know that's just kind of how we had to build it. Uh, we got some personal cryo fridges back here. Nothing really much in there. Uh, this is kind of uh, an interesting way. So usually in war rooms, the Car fridges are on the floor or in the floor with um, hatch frames, but this is kind of our solution for that. Uh, you kind of drop down onto it, uh, but it works. Got you know tames going. Tames a uh, rolling. Got some breeding, rolling. Tons of FFAs. We are looking, we are looking good in here, boys on tames. Uh, the top floor is a little bit more storage, I believe. Uh, nothing really special. Uh, these are our, our flak BPs. Uh, I know I'm gonna get a lot of I'm gonna get a lot of flak, haha, pun intended, uh, <coughs> in the comments. Oh my God, he's crafting ascendant BPs. But uh, you know, metal's really not that hard. It's really not that hard to farm flak. Uh, I can understand when people that live in ice caves craft like three vaults of journeyman flak that comes at 1500 dera. But we're, we're only doing like 100 or 200 sets at a time. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, this helmet BP that we got is pretty crazy, though. Base 1050 Dara. Traded for ARB for it. Uh, but yeah, we have a full 800 plus Dara set. Except for the chest. Our chest is only 658, which kind of sucks. But uh, yeah. So those are our, our flak BPs. We got our saddle vaults. You know, looking good. We got giga saddles, mana saddles. We're still crafting a lot of like ascendant saddles, but again, hides are really not that hard to farm. Uh, we got our, our egg incubators up here. Uh, we don't really breed much here, so our troughs are generally speaking full of tinto berries and honey uh, for cakes and brews. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of how that goes. Z's, craft some brews here. Uh, fridges, you know, beer. I gotta make sure I fill these up in a little bit, but uh, yeah. That's kind of how the base is looking. So, uh, yeah, I also wanted to give a little bit of an update uh, on the tribe. So, we kind of changed out some members. Nobody really got kicked. Everybody left on their own free will. Ian left. Brett left a while ago. Uh, Swank recently left while I was sick. Uh, and he, he'll be back eventually. Um, but we changed out some members. So, GM is still here. Milkshake's still here. Uh, I'm still here. Uh, my crafter's in the tribe now. Uh, uh, another YouTuber's in, in the tribe, uh, Heat, but he's going to be leaving shortly, joining some friends. And um, a new member named Gears is in the tribe as well. And then we've got an Aussie uh, guy joining pretty soon. So, yeah. We are changing out members. We're raiding with... with you're you're going to see some videos of us raiding with, with some other people. We're raiding with friends. Split and loot, you know, that kind of deal. Because it's really, really hard to get full six-man uh, rating on of your exact tribe members every single time. So, yeah. Uh, that is the end of the base tour. Uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys.